Hello everybody, it's Kelly. And well, we're gonna talk about my beard today. Because honestly, it's what I wanna talk about. There's some days I feel like shaving it off. Because it's long, it's scraggly, it gets food in it. It's not really scraggly, it's actually in pretty good shape. But it gets food in it, it's messy, it's a lot of lot of care to take care of. Now, for those of you who are not beard-toting individuals, nothing against you. You're allowed to have that. That's yours, you know. Um, you don't quite understand the struggle of a beard. Because if you do not properly maintain a beard, then you have loads of problems. Like matting. Like tangles. Split ends food getting stuck in it and it just looking all around shitty there's also another curse of the beard I call it a curse because well it happens to me a lot more than anything it is the mustache what makes makes the full beard so magnificent is the joined part above your lip this beautiful part right here now the curse is Unless you constantly groom the mustache, it goes straight down into your mouth. Now this causes an issue because guess what? You end up eating your mustache. Do you like eating mustache? Because I don't like eating mustache. It, it doesn't taste very good and it's just a pain in the butt. So you have to constantly trim it. Well, when you trim it, it's not as long as the rest of the hair on your on your chin. So you kind of have this disbalanced look. Now some people just like to trim it all the same length. Call it a day. I don't blame them. Sometimes I feel like doing it too. But, as of right now, I want the full on beard, crazy, you know, wild man look. Uh... But I gotta keep trimming my mustache, so every once in a while my mustache gets thinner because I've trimmed it back because I don't don't want to eat the food. You know, I don't want to eat my beard, my, my my mustache, and it's very very just. Ugh. Anyways, now that's my great that's my love and gripe about beards. Now, for those of you out there that are thinking about growing a beard want to grow a beard you have to remember one thing growing a beard is a commitment so if you're going to do it through thick and thin you got to do it and no matter what you got to work your way through it okay so the first big stage of growing a beard that you're going to go through and it's the worst stage ever is the week of hell, or as I call it, the itchy stage. That's when your hair is long enough not to be considered stubble, but not long enough to be a beard. Where it's still rubbing against your face and, you know, just causing it to itch altogether. And that is probably the most miserable point of growing a beard. I hate it. I, I really hate it. And I try to do a lot of things to avoid to uh, avoid going through that stage. Like I will wet my face a lot to help reduce the itch. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do. <laughs> In all honesty, a lot of stuff you can do. And but it only it usually lasts about a week, maybe two weeks, depending on how fast your hair grows. But once you're through it, you ain't got to deal with it that much afterwards. I mean, it itches, but it itches because, you know, you itch. You know what, you know, do you guys know what an itch is? Here's an interesting f piece of fact. An itch is you causing temporary nerve damage to the nerves on the particular area you scratch to relieve the tingling sensation. So when you itch something, 
you are causing temporary nerve damage. Pretty nifty, eh? Okay. So once you get past the itchy phase, it's pretty much just all grown out from there. You know, all you have to do is waiting to get it to where you like it. And then maintain the look. Grooming is very important. You guys will actually see me groom myself on stream a lot. I have a brush that I sit at the table. I sit at my table and when I'm in the middle of cinema scenes or stuff like that, I brush my hair, my beard. And, you know, try to loosen it up enough to where there's no tangles or anything like that. Let it run through free. I condition and shampoo my beard once a week. That helps keep it healthy. And keep it brushed. Now, I probably need to trim it here soon to get rid of any of the dead ends and stuff. But, yeah. Grooming, it's very important. If you want to help it grow, uh, expecting sex helps a beard grow. Because it uh, ups the... What is it? It helps up... It ups the testosterone in your system. You know, to prepare for the activity. It also increases blood flow. Um, blood flow is very important also. Eating, eating some very vitamin-rich food. Loads of exercise. A substance called biotin has everything in it that you need it for to grow your hair out and your beard out um, and plenty of sleep sleep will help you grow your beard out so those are some of the things that you can do and or you you know do to help you grow your beard out I just let it grow. Just lift my hair, I let it grow. I try to eat relatively healthy. I exercise as much as I can. Fuck you, asshole. What a dickhead. I was I had all right to turn and dickhead come blowing horn at me. What a douche. I sleep, I eat as well as, as well as I can, and I exercise as much as I can to help the blood flow and everything, and, you know, honestly, most of it's to take care of my body, but, you know, it helps my beard grow. So, uh, yeah, that asshole behind me just ruined the mood. Thank you, dickhead. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment, leave a like. I'll talk to y'all later.